All right, with a new lawsuit filed after the legislature approved a layout meant to be in line with the Voting Rights Act, the plaintiffs also found issues with the 6th District stretching from Baton Rouge to Shreveport. The federal trial is now underway, getting underway yesterday in Shreveport. Local attorney Royal Alexander has been following this case. It is fascinating to see the twist and turns and how all of this will uh, shake out. At this point, uh, Royal, what issue are some lawmakers saying with the new congressional map? It, it, the U.S. Supreme Court has used several factors in redistricting, and race can be one of them. It just can't be the only factor. And if you look at the way this map, this new map, creating the second minority district is drawn, it goes from Baton Rouge to Lafayette to Alexandria to Shreveport. And you could say it looks pretty much based on race. And, and what, what does Shreveport really have in common with Lafayette? What do we have in common with Baton Rouge 250 miles away? So, but. The first thing is race. It can't be based strictly on race. What would be a second factor if race is number one? What would be the second factor? Probably what demographic similarities do we have? Are we is Shreveport more manufacturing or agricultural? What is Lafayette? What is Baton Rouge? Baton Rouge is, is largely um, more industrial. We know all about all those oil refineries along the Mississippi River, things like that. In other words, part of its population, part of it is what commonalities do we have? What common areas of interest do Shreveport and Lafayette or Shreveport and Baton Rouge have? So demographics would be the second thing. Okay, originally months ago, the federal judge tasked lawmakers with creating this map, saying there needs to be a second majority minority district. But they're almost tasked with racially gerrymandering it in the first place. You're saying that they have to make it, the plaintiffs have to argue this was solely based on racial maps and drawings. That's it. Okay. And I'll tell you, in response to that being solely based on, if, it, if that's the only criteria, I think it gets struck down because in this country, we've moved away under the Equal Protection Clause. We're moving away from doing anything based on race, which is the correct thing. So the other alternative, they're saying, well, we didn't just do it for race. We also are preserving congressional districts for Speaker Mike Johnson, for Congresswoman Julia Letlow, Appropriations Committee, and for Majority Leader Steve Scalise in South Louisiana. We're also protecting those seats. So that's another consideration which is acceptable in redistricting. But the response is, well, we have all that right now. We, we didn't need another map. We have Mike Johnson right now. We but what happens with Garrett Graves seat? That, and that's different. <laughs> and I have was actually working for a member of Congress in 1992 when redistricting forced two Republicans, one from Alexandria, one from Baton Rouge to run against each other. And my boss at the time lost one of the two Republicans. So in redistricting, it, it is a, a meshing of districts. It does force some hard races. But uh, unfortunately, part of this is due to Louisiana's population loss. So this targets Graves' seat? It, it could, okay. it, but there's a lot of different ways to draw six congressional districts. Mm -hmm. it, um, I mean, I've seen enough maps to know I'm glad I'm not a map maker or someone, an expert in, you know, m maps, because you can take 4.5 million people and draw it a bunch of different ways. But you have to ask, do we in Shreveport really have anything in common with life yet? Other than it's fun to go there and have a good time or Baton Rouge. Just real quick before we go, we only have a couple of seconds sure. left. If the three judge panel sides with the plaintiffs, what's next? Yeah, I think it's very likely to be appealed to the U.S. Fifth Circuit. And depending on what they do, I think one side or the other will appeal and it could go to the Supreme Court. And I'm sure the Supreme Court is tired of doing this. But <laughs> We talked about this before with uh, the population in Louisiana, one third being African American. Yes. Do you feel that there needs to be a second majority African American district? The, the population supports it. It just depends on how it's drawn. Mm -hmm. You, you, they have to find a way to draw it, and a race can be a factor because that is part of what makes us up. But also, is it an agricultural area? Mm -hmm. or, or, or do we or, are we culturally the similar? We're very different from from South Louisiana, so all those things it does, could be justified. Yes, yeah. Dominique, it just depends on how they draw it. Seems like they're going to be redrawing again. I know. Well, <laughs> I, I think so. Oh, yeah.